Intro Hi everyone, this is, your name, coming at you with the latest news from the protest movement in Europe. This week, 14 Greenpeace activists were arrested after peacefully protesting against natural gas production at the Fluxus liquid gas terminal in Belgium. They are currently being held for over 48 hours and Greenpeace has been working hard for their release. We're here to talk about why this action was taken and what it means for the European protest movement. Act 1. The Greenpeace action took place on Saturday morning at the LNG terminal in Zeebrug, Belgium. Activists from several countries, including Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, the Netherlands, and the UK, took to the keys used for loading and unloading LNG tankers and inflatables and kayaks. They hung banners reading, gas kills, with the intention of sending a clear message to Europe's gas companies that investing in new fossil gas infrastructure is disastrous for human rights and the climate. The activists maintained the occupation for six hours before they were removed by police. Act 2. Greenpeace Belgium director, Valerie Del Rees said, It's not our activists, but gas companies like Fluxies, who are the criminals in this story. They continue to invest in new fossil gas infrastructure, which is a disaster for human rights and for the climate. It is impossible to understand why environmental activists would be detained for so long. Greenpeace is calling for all new gas infrastructure projects to be stopped and for a European plan to phase out gas by 2035. Act 3. Unfortunately, this isn't a unique situation. Climate activist groups have been staging roadblock protests all over Europe in countries like Austria, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, France, and Sweden, thanks to the support of the Climate Emergency Fund. In fact, just last week, Just Stop Oil protesters returned to the streets of central London. Act 4. In response to this protest activity, the Home Office changed some legislation to allow police to more quickly ban slow march protests. This move has angered both drivers and right-wing commentators who feel that their right to quickly get from point A to point B is more important than the rights of activists to peacefully protest. Conclusion. So, what's the takeaway from this story? To start, we should recognize the brave activists who stand up for human rights and the environment by peacefully protesting against companies like Fluxies, who invest in increasingly destructive fossil gas infrastructure. Additionally, it's important to understand that the right to peacefully protest is a fundamental human right and we must not allow legislation like the Home Office change to take away these rights. Thanks for joining us.